Welcome back. It, we are talking about angles today, and I am Mr. Sullivan. If you forgot, I know it's been a while, but I am back, and I am glad to be here. So today we're going to talk about angles. We're going to talk about a couple different kinds of angles, what an angle is, um, how we can use them a little bit, all right? And uh, we're going to be ex extremely complimentary to each other, apparently, today. My, you are a cute angle, as you are you, my friend. You two are right together. Now, this joke may, may not make much sense right now, but it will as we go through the lesson. But you'll probably find it's still pretty bad at the end. All right? It's a typical math pun. Here we go. Let's talk about angles. Angles is the space. An angle is the space formed by two rays meeting at a point. All right, let's take a look at what this means. So, we have these two things over here these two sides we have a and b and b and c the angle is the space here between these two th sides all right all right so there's a couple ways we can name this angle all right we always have to use shorthand so our, this is the shorthand for angle so i always have to put the middle point we call this the vertex and the vertex must always be in the middle when we name it now there's a couple ways we can do it. The easiest way is by calling it just by the vertex. Now, this is not that, we cannot use this very often, all right? And the reason, I'll show you in a second. But sometimes it works, but most of the time it's not gonna be useful. Most of the time we're gonna need to name it with three letters. And the way we name it with three letters is the vertex always has to be in the middle, and it's kind of like tracing. I'm gonna go from A to B to C. I trace my angle. So angle A, B, C. Now, some of you are thinking, well, could I go backwards? Yeah, absolutely. Angle C, B, A is the exact same angle. All right, it doesn't matter which way you write it. So often when you write these, you need to double check. There are two answers, all right? You don't need to write both of them, but if you wrote A, B, C, you need to make sure that, um, you had that one. You didn't need both. Just make sure you do it correctly. All right. So let's come over here and try this. Let's name each angle. So angle one. Angle one is right here. All right. So what is the vertex? The vertex is B. Let's trace it. E, B, D. So I'm going to call angle one angle E, B, D. What's another name I could call it? I could call it D, B, E. I could call it angle D, B, E. Now here's why this was not very useful. If I call this just angle B, how many angles are there at angle B? Well, I could do this angle, well, I could do this angle, or this angle, or that one. There's a lot of angles here at B. That's why we need three points to name this angle. Let's do angle two. Angle two is right here, all right? So, Angle two is A or uh, C B D. Angle C B D. It also could be going backwards D B C. Angle D B C. Those are the two for angle two. All right. Well, now let's mark some angles. Let's see what we got going on here. So it wants us to mark angle A B D. So I'm going to start at A. A, B, D is this whole angle right here. So that whole angle, now notice it's two angles next to each other, isn't it? But it overlaps, so that can be its own angle. Angle A, B, D right there. And C, B, E. C, B, E is going to be from here. C, B, E all the way over to here. Okay. So now we have a little bit of guidance on what angles are. Let's talk about the types of angles we have. The first type of angle we have is called acute. An acute angle is, it's a small angle. It's between zero degrees and 90 degrees. All right, zero degrees and 90 degrees. 90 degrees is straight up and down. All right, it's perpendicular and we always mark it with that box, okay? And 180 degrees is a straight line, okay? Right angle is exactly 90 degrees. So whenever you see an angle here and it has that box, that is a right angle. So angle D, E, F is a right angle. It has exactly 90 degrees. 
No more, no less. And an obtuse angle is bigger than 90, so it goes way past 90, all right, but less than 180, so less than this straight line. So it's between these two points, all right, or these two rays here. So more than 90, but less than 180. And a straight angle is exactly what it says. It's a straight line. But a straight line has 180 degrees in it. That has 180 degrees, exactly 180 degrees. No more, no less. Okay? All right, now we're going to talk about some special angle pairs. All right, the special angle pairs, the first kind is called complementary angles. No, these are not angles that are very nice to each other. They're two angles that add up to 90 degrees, okay? So two angles that add up to 90 degrees. Remember, how will you know if it's 90 degrees? Well, they could tell you they're complementary, then you would know they add up to 90, all right? You could add them up to see if they're 90, or you could see this box right here to know that that's a 90 degree angle, all right? So if we look over here, we have two angles, angle D, E, M, and angle M, E, F, and they are 90 degrees. We can solve for this. Let's see, this angle plus this angle equals 90. 65 plus Y equals the whole big angle, which is 90 degrees. Then we can subtract 65 from both sides, and we can find out that Y equals 25 degrees. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, over here, Let's see, are these complementary? Even though they don't form a right angle because they're not next to each other, are they complementary? Yes, 30 plus 60 is 90. So, in fact, these two are complementary. The reason I wanted to show you this is because I just, just wanted to show you that they don't always look like they're right angles, okay? All right, let's do this one down here. We know this is 90, so we know these are angles are complementary. Let's make an equation. So this angle here, angle CAG, X plus 15, plus this angle, GAB, 2X plus 30, and that's going to be how many degrees? 90 degrees. So now we need to solve. We can combine some like terms. 3X plus 45 equals 90. We can subtract 45 from both sides. So 3x equals 45. And then we can divide by 3. And in the last thing, we find that our x is 15. Okay, so complementary, they add up to 90. Now, supplementary, these are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. They would form a straight line if they were together. So this angle here, this is a straight angle. H, J, I is a straight angle. This whole thing right here is a straight angle. That adds up to 180. So X plus 45 equals 180. Subtract 45 from both sides. And we get X is 35 degrees. Nice. Over here, you can see these look like they're supplementary, but we don't know for sure because they're two separate angles. Maybe if this was 40 and this was 140, then we could know they add up to 180 and they are supplementary. But if they don't tell us they're supplementary, we cannot just assume them unless they form a straight angle like we talked about earlier. Let's try this one down here. So we have a straight angle, HJI is a 180 degree angle, that means they're supplementary. So I know that I can do 6x plus 10 plus 4x minus 20 and it's going to equal 180 degrees, they are supplementary. So let's combine some terms, we have 10x minus 10 equals 180, add 10 to both sides. 10x equals 190, divide by 10, and we get x is 19. Okay, so supplementary and complementary. There's a lot of different ways to remember them. 
I'm just going to show you one. If you have this word right here, if you add one line to this, this looks like a 90 degrees. So complementary is 90 degrees. If you add one line here, that looks like an 8 or 180 degrees. That's just one way to remember it, okay? Another way here is 30, 30 degrees said is 6 degrees. It's neat. You make me complete. Well, that's great. I just remember that C for complementary comes before S supplementary and 90 comes before 180. That makes it easy. Fine. That helps you. Great. All right. So I want you to pause the video right now and try this one on your own. All right. So let's take a look. The first thing I notice is that this makes this an, this angle ABC is a right angle. We have two angles that make a right angle or 90 degrees. That means they are complementary. So I'm going to add the first angle, 9x plus 10, with the second angle, 35, and set it equal to 90. Combine 10 and 35 to get 45. Subtract 45 from both sides, and then divide by 9, and I get x is 5. There you have it. So I hope you have a great time learning these angles. Uh, I hope they're not too tricky. Big things, you know, um, make sure you learn how to label these angles correctly, and I'm sure you'll be fine. All right? Best of luck, and I'll see you next time.